Good afternoon and welcome to Just News on Thursday the 3rd of May. I'm Charles Maggs. And I'm Yan Hao. The headlines. Polling stations open across South Yorkshire for local elections. Staff at Sheffield Children's Hospital have to show exactly what it's like to live with cystic fibrosis. And they've been making bigger splashes than usual down at Ponds Forge, all in aid of charity. Polling stations across Sheffield have been open since 7 o'clock this morning for voters to have their say in the local elections. There are 5,000 council seats being decided nationwide, including 28 here in Sheffield. This year, there is an added twist as the city is one of the ten deciding whether to have an elected mayor. In Doncaster, they are voting to keep get rid of their mayor. A post has been in place for the last ten years. Polling station will remain open until 10 o'clock this morning. And you can find out more on the council election and the mayor referendum at our website, justnews.net. Drivers at East Midlands trains are striking for a second day of a pensions changes. Kiao Hu has the details. Train passengers of East Midland trains are facing more disruption today. The scheme of six strikes planted for this month are taking place, and services in and to Sheffield has been seriously affected, including Sheffield to London, Manchester and Nottingham. Members of Union ASLAV are protesting against changes to their pension. Based on the recent valuation of a pension scheme, East Midland has decided to reduce the joint pension contribution, which will start in July. Even though the move will save drivers hundreds of pounds in the short term, they are concerned that their pension costs will be affected in the long run. Andy Bolson, ASLAV's representative for East Midland Trains, explained what the change means. Evaluation took place in December 2010, and since December 2010, there's been dramatic changes in the value of pension funds, all linked to the government's quantitative easing, reduction in the value of government bonds. The saving of £500 a year that we will save is insignificant to the £2.1 to £3 million pounds over the next three years that the company will save. As left say, they just want to stop the change, and they will go back to work. It's National Cystic Fibrosis Week, and the staff at Sheffield Children's Hospital are doing something rather unusual to show exactly what it's like to live with genetic disorder. Chris Craddock has more. The Children's Hospital here treats more than 150 young patients with cystic fibrosis a year. It's one of the UK's most common life-threatening genetic disorders. Children with cystic fibrosis have to take this many tablets with every meal just to get through it each day. So staff here for Cystic Fibrosis Week are putting themselves through similar processes with placebo tablets. I'm here to find out what else they're up to. Taking on the diabetes aspect of CF and testing our blood sugars four times a day um, and keeping a record of it, which is also important. It's, you know, you can do the test and sort of like say, oh yeah, that's all right. But if you don't record it and monitor it, it doesn't mean an awful lot either. So that's an important aspect. Um, I think we're all doing a shuttle run test, which is what we... Staff are hoping that their actions this week will help raise awareness as well as bring them closer to their patients. Chris Craddock, Just News, Sheffield. Ponds Forge may be famous for Olympic diving, but last night it played host to the 8th annual Water Bombing World Championship. Teams of four dressed up in fancy costumes to leap off the top board into the diving pool. They won marks for style, costume and of course the size of their splash. There's a serious point to it all. They've raised over £7,000 from Macmillan Cancer Support. And now the weather. How's it looking out there, Finn? Well, it's certainly another grey day here in Sheffield, I'm afraid, with highs of 9 degrees, but it's feeling a lot chillier because of the wind here. We'll see rain this afternoon, which will carry on through the night. Tomorrow is set to start with a dry but overcast weather-wise warning, and, but we are thinking that there will be more rain tomorrow afternoon, spreading through to possibly a, a fairly sunny weekend with a mixed bag weather for the bank holiday weekend. Back to the studio. Thanks, Finn. That's all from Just News this afternoon. More at 4.30 when we'll be looking in more detail at the local elections. Goodbye. Goodbye. Magic, you're cold and